Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Now we want to draw this diagram in isometric. Right? Now the first thing you do when you have the word isometric is to draw your angle 30 degree in two places like this. I'll draw on the horizontal line. And um, I'm going to project it upward. Like this. Then I'm going to draw my this is the grid. This is the first thing you do when you the word isometric. That again. Like I said earlier that uh, this is the width. This is the length, sorry. This is the root and this is our height. If you look at this very well, it's telling us that um, the entire length we have here, the entire length we have here is 18 plus 12, and that is 30. Distance from here to here is equal to the distance from here to here, is equal to the distance from this point to this point. So the entire length, the entire length is what 30. So I'll take my Join instrument and I measure 30 here. 10 to 4. This is 30. Right? And I'll bring it up. This way. All good. Now, after doing that, the next thing I'll do is do it up a little bit. Probably the next thing I'm going to do. Is to draw the entire width. You know, if you look at this very well, our entire width here is 28. It starts from here to here, the same from here to here, is the same from here to here. So that is 28. So I'm going to measure my 28. It's starting from 5. This is 10, 20, 28 is here. Can you see that? And now project it out this way. That is my width. Now the next thing I'll do is the entire height. Now with the help of my book, my entire height is what? 40. So I'll measure that. 40. From 1 to 5. It's 40. Right, so just like I've been doing all along, so watch my previous video, you understand? So, from one here to here, and also from one here to here, right? and also the same from here to here, and um, the same from here, just from the box. Right? After getting your box now, if you look at this very well, you will discover that from this point to this point, 15 downward is 15. And from this point to this point, 8 downward, right? So, if you join from here to here, and you join from here to here, which is what I have done here, joint from here to here and from here to here now if you look at this diagram very well you discover that from this point from this point to this point is 18 that means from here to here is 18 because they are parallel so i'm going to measure 18 from this point so this is 10 this is 18 here right so with the help of my T square and my C square, I'll move it to that point where I can draw the 18. Is that taking? And I'm going to close it up like this. I'll close it up like this. 
that they came now if you recall if you watch this very well you discover that from this point from here to here is 18 from here to here is 12 but the 12 this line here is joining this point six meter depth below right so i'm going to measure from here to here i'll measure six downward so which is from here to here i'll measure six downward so if i place it there i'll measure six this is six here right so in doing that after doing that i'm going to join the six here from this point i'll join the six you can see that then instead of measuring here again with the help of my set square and my t square i only transfer the point from this point straight down to this point because why am i doing that it is because from that point after drawing it down i'm attaching attaching it to this point directly and i'll join here to here also so also join here to here also you can see that now if you watch very well you discover that the distance from here to here is six this is it here distance from here to here is what is six and this is the six here the thickness of this point is six so i'm going to measure the six again i'll measure the six here this is where the six is and i'm going to cover it up then join it to that point too at this point with the help of your set square i'll move it to this point and i will close it up so if you use your t square and set square simultaneously to be easier for you so that is what i've done so that is the six right now if you look at it very very closely from here to here we say it's 15 right and we don't know where the distance from here to here but if you look from the base here from here to here is what is 18 so i'll measure my 18 from this point to this point from here i'll measure my 18 this is 18 right and i might thicken it here Is that taking after doing that i'll now take my t square and my set square and I'll make it grow to where they meet where they meet at this point here yeah, i'll join them together so i can now take in these two together is that taking now if you look very well you discover that from this point inward here is what is six so i'll take this inward that means from here i'm taking here inward with six so if i can do that with the help of my t square and set square i'll move it to that point i'll draw a faint line as a plus from where I can measure my six, which is that, and I'll measure the six. So from here, I'm measuring the six, right, and I'll thicken it. So bring it down, straight line, because I'm not sure where it's ending. There's a faint line. Now, if you look at it very well. The distance from this point to down here is 12. This point is written as this point. Down is what? It's 12. This point is written as this point. Down to here is also 12. Right? So I measure 12 downwards. So, this, like, starting from 5. 
from 5 to 4 is 10 11 12 yeah. I'll measure 12 the 12 I measure I cannot thicken it right then with the help of my t square and my c square I'll move this point to touch this vertical line here can you see that so after doing that I can now close it up here you can see that so whatever happens here will happen here too so I'm going to extend my point from this here straight down here right and I'm going to tick in this line too from this point straight down here and I'll close it up at this point from here straight down here so I know since from here to here is 6 inward to reward 6 so I'll use my imaginary line first and draw my faint line like this and I'll measure 6 inward or I'll just from this point here transfer the point from here I'll move it straight down to touch here can you see that then I am going to take it up to this point just like in the diagram and I will close it up here so this is my diagram thank you very much for watching